and we're live and we are six minutes early hello friends hello hello i'm going to just test out our internet connection on this important video a few people have popped in if you can see me nicely and i'm not pixelated or uh laggy if that's a word that you know <laughs> then um please give me a comment underneath this video and tell me if you can see me and hear me okay we have a technical difficulties the last few go lives and so we wanted to go live a few minutes early and just test out our signal i'm going to look for your comments hello everyone great broadcast quality oh great broadcast quality okay cool uh that's exciting that sounds good how about on the purse cam looks clear and sounds great yay maybe we solved our tech problem so that's full screen me and uh, Cinnamon Engineering are on the purse cam, so it looks as if this will work fine. Okay, great. You want to do a few purses through the purse cam just to see if it is holding up in terms of the speed of the internet connection there? Yeah, looks good. No lagging. Awesome. Okay, great. Ooh, exciting. Okay, great. All right, wonderful. Thanks everybody for allowing us to test this out uh, ahead of time a little bit. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated, really, really appreciate that. I'm gonna show a little video that some of you might not have seen. This is uh, called Frinda and uh, it's a nice little video. I might show another one after this one's done and uh, we'll start right at the top of the hour. Here we go. Hello, my name is Afrenda Ruthi Tole. I am one of the beneficiaries here at Soul Power Team. I want to thank you for this wonderful opportunity you have given unto me. Through this opportunity you have given unto me, I can able to provide all the needs for my children and my family. I'm a single mother of two children. Through this opportunity you have given unto me, I can able to take my children to school and provide groceries for them and books for them. And also I provide the needs for my family. We have 11 members of our family. My dad is not working. My mother is not working. I'm only the only person who is working. Through the benefits you have given unto me, I can able to provide all the needs for my family, groceries, food, even ECT that they need. Also, I'm taking myself to school. I started here at Miskia in 2017. Before I started here, I was not doing anything. Now I can able to take myself to school and pay my school fees. I wrote my grade 7 in 2019. This year, 2021, I'm writing my exams for grade 9. Grade nine. I'm going to my school every day after work. Thank you for what you are doing to me because it is not an easy thing. I can able to take care of myself, my children, my family through the money you, you give unto me. So thank you very much for what you are doing. May the good Lord continue blessing you and keep you safe. This is Frenda Ruthie Dolly one of uh, the beneficiaries. As you've heard, she was not doing anything before she joined the scare. So powerful team. So from the time she joined the So Powerful, she's been able to learn how to sew. These are the reusable parts. In Ali, we have uh, the consignment of the underwear, which uh, we've been waiting for for a long time. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello. 
How are y'all? The purse cam is having a problem. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I can if you'd like to. Hey, friends, we're going to start our broadcast in just one moment. And uh, welcome to So Powerful Live. We're excited that you're here, and we're really, really grateful for the chance to, to connect. Uh, we're trying to just set things up. It'll take a minute or two for us to sort things out. The purse cam may or may not be working. <laughs> um, yeah. Mm. All right, friends. Feel free to tell me if things are going well in terms of the broadcast quality. Jan and Tori and team, if you can confirm that we're all good. Uh, now you see the purse cam. And do you see Jason and Cinnamon Cam? Hello, friends. Can you hear us and see us now? Jason and the purse cam are looking good. Yeah, give me a like, love, comment, share. If the purse cam and Jason and Cinnamon Cam are looking good on your screen, that would be really helpful. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. All right. Well, we're going to get the party started here. Love to welcome you to another So Powerful Live. We're broadcasting at a special time uh, this month because we have to travel next week. And so we needed to adjust our schedule. So thank you for, uh, you know, showing up a week early. Usually we do this the last Monday of the month. And um, so this time we're doing it at a special time. So I'm joined by Cinnamon here. Hello, everybody. And also, Janari is over on the purse cam. Oh, there's the heart love <laughs> thing, that hand thing. That never gets old, the heart hand love thing. All right. Well, we're really, really excited to present to you a bunch of purses that have come in in the last three weeks. It has just been incredible how many purses are coming in literally from around the world. And um, so are you ready to jump into this yep. today? You excited? I'm ready. You can't. Can they see the pile? It's a huge no. pile, you guys. This is a huge, huge pile for three weeks. It really is. And uh, so many beautiful purses are over on the purse cam table. We can't wait for you to see them all. And uh, we're really, really excited to be able to share with you. We've also got a few updates and words of encouragement. I just want to mention that um, the videos that you're watching, if you showed up a few minutes early, were some uh, uh, videos of underwear being delivered to Lusaka that happened a while back, and then also uh, the video of Frinda uh, telling her story. So thank you so much for watching those. If you're just jumping into the broadcast with us, do us a huge favor. Give us a like on this video, and if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, leave a comment underneath the video and tell us where you're watching from. And whether you've made a So Powerful purse or not, that seems like two and good things. And if you see your purse, I see a comment from Judith saying, Saw yay, my that's purse. my purse. That's hey, awesome. <laughs> Judith, that's super cool. Really, really amazing. Well, it's an honor to be able to kick things off today and to acknowledge and thank all the purse makers. And so we're going to get right into it. Um, we're going to start thanking and acknowledging purse makers that have sent in boxes over the last three weeks. And then Janari will continue to show purses on the purse cam and we might pause every few minutes to uh, to look at a, a purse and gawk over it and kind of uh, admire it. Um, yeah, you ready to go? Yep, we're, we're ready. Okay, Mary's we're going, we're going. All right, we're going to start looking at the boxes here and thanking people who have sent them in over the last few weeks. So let's go, let's do it. <laughs> From uh, Tucson, Arizona, from Mrs. Dumke, maybe. Uh, thank you so much for your purses. We got them. From Woodbury, New Jersey, K Man, a box of purses. Thank you so much. And from Ron Swank, or maybe Mrs. Swank, I don't know, I'm just saying, uh, from Crystal Lake, Illinois. Thank you so much. From Montgomery, Texas, Teresa Gack. Thank you so much. 30 purses. This is awesome. And from Arlington, Virginia, uh, Elizabeth uh, Junkie. Uh, we got your purses. Thank you so much for sending them in. And from Los Gatos, California, Marnie Bevetto. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I 
just tipped over the entire box of <laughs> a table full of purses. Technical difficulties. While we clean up the mess I just made, we're going to keep going here. That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, okay. Cinnamon's helping me now. I've scattered boxes all over the stage. Uh, a beautiful collection from uh, Pat Grafton and the Australia team who are working together to send in purses. Just want to give a huge thank you and shout out to the Australia team to take such uh, time and energy to go through the process to get the purses to us here in the Seattle area. It's just an incredible um, honor to have you involved in it and part of the process. I always like to say this, but this Facebook group that we broadcast into uh, was started by uh, Kylie and a group of Australians. So Pat and the, uh, the team there that are making purses, uh, just thank you so much for all your hard work and support of the program. And from Bradford Woods, Pennsylvania, can anybody guess who this is? <laughs> uh, Vivian Sylvester and Olive Branch Fair Trade Shop. Thank you so much. 28 persons. Woo, I almost knocked Jason out there. <laughs> this is chaos today. We don't know why. Um, well, uh, 24 purses have come in from Marysville, Missouri, and uh, that sounds exciting, and it's from Mrs. Gard. So, Mrs. Gard and, uh, and the Marysville, Missouri community, thank you so much for sending in the purses. And this one's pretty close. From Tacoma, Washington, we've got Francie Thomas. Thank you so much, Francie. This is amazing. And 50 purses with notes from... Uh, Judith Wells, uh, thank you so much uh, from uh, the Canadian contingent who's supporting the programs from Australia and Canada in the first few minutes here. Brazil's and Brazil's coming up. So, wow, what an amazing international effort. And here we've got some purses from Carolyn Johnson in Asheville, North Carolina. Thank you so much, Carolyn. And from Marsha Omdahl in Squim, Washington. Thank you so much, Marsha. It's really great to see your name, and most people don't know how to pronounce squim, but there you go. The Washingtonians know how to, how to do it, yeah. <clears throat> and in Roswell, Georgia, Tina Blisse, maybe, if that's not right, I apologize, but thank you so much. This is such a blessing. All right, let's take a minute and geek out over the purse cam. What do we got, Janari and Cinnamon? I'm not good at commenting on these because I have no idea what goes into it, but that's cute, Stripes. huh? This is like the Stripes. Joseph's coat of many colors. <laughs> oh, oh, that could be a challenge, yes. couldn't it? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, that's very that's cool. That's very fun. Wow. Very, very fun stuff. Great. Okay, well, what else you got, Janari? You have another one you want to show? Oh, yes, very cute. Oh, butterflies, butterflies hearts, and flowers. Nice. Wow. Oh, my Beautiful goodness. Beautiful card. Look at that card. Wow. Oh, very cool. That's amazing. All right, let's keep going here. Well, uh, we've got um, purses from Burr Ridge, Illinois. Linda Dishman, thank you so much for sending in your purses. Really, really grateful. And from Berryville, Virginia, Moira Lank, thank you so much. And from Maryland, mm, Maryland, <laughs> uh, Deanna Kraus, thank you so much. Uh, we're really, really grateful for your purses. I'd use my cheat sheet. Okay. Uh, from Oakland, Maine, Janet Shoot. Thank you so much, Janet. And thank you, Kathleen Bradfoot, for this uh, state cheat sheet. <laughs> you guys know what our state sheet cheat sheet looks like? See, it's color coded, and someone made it it's for us. It's just the M's. Because, There's so many M's. Because we were so bad at doing this that people made cheat sheets for us, and it's very, very helpful. So really grateful for that support. Okay, from Union City, Indiana. <laughs> Sue Miller, we're really grateful that you made purses and uh, thank you so much, we got them. <clears throat> oh, now we're all nervous. Um, yes, from Leeds, South Dakota, Cheryl Glanzer. Thank you so much, Cheryl. And from Mrs. Jones in Ariandale, Virginia. We got your purses. Thank you so much, Mrs. Jones. 
<clears throat> and in Littleton, Massachusetts, Janet Stevens. This is a heavy box. Thank you so much, Janet. And from, wait, I need the Star Wars music to begin playing right now. Okay, just imagine in your head that the Star Wars theme song is playing. From the Rebel Legion Sunrider Base in San Diego, California, Catherine Winchell, thank you so much. May the force be with you. Yes, <laughs> we're so grateful for the five purses and note cards. And from Marshfield, Wisconsin, Deanna uh, Kalman. Thank you so much, Deanna. This is such a blessing to the girls in the program. And from Wood River, Illinois, Ashley Server. Thank you so much. Uh, we got 18, it looks like, 18 purses. Thank you. And we've got a box packed full here from Simpsonville, South Carolina, from Susan Schmock. Thank you so much. 21 purses packed. Plus 20 extra note cards. That is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> and one of everyone's favorite purse makers, Granny Hill. Thank you so much from Zolfa Springs, Florida. We're really, really grateful. Now, this is in one of these, why they call it a media box. And we've heard that the U.S. Postal Service is basically stopping using these because, because, we, because of us. I mean, basically, the Postmaster General basically looked at what we were doing and said that you guys are out of control. I'm just totally joking. I made up all that part, except they are discontinuing this box. So what I heard people are doing is asking the, the, uh, the postal clerks behind the counter if they have a quantity of these in their back room. And somebody scored 50 of them recently. So if you want a pro tip, you could just go up to your postal uh, you know, office and ask if they have any of these in quantity and they might give them to you. Can, can and, I just do a little commercial? Oh yeah, Dana, come so do a commercial. Come. Not, say, oh. When they draw an arrow and tell me what in the packing slip is yeah. there, I bless those women. Oh, see Dana <laughs> said that if you actually put an arrow somewhere on the box and say where, where the packing slip is, uh, it's super helpful. Yeah. Oh, it, it's right here on this one. You can't see it, but there you go. So anyway, a little aside about the media boxes. And here we have a beautifully decorated, I think this is going to win for the best decorated box right here, uh, Lynn Johnson, Spokane, Washington, 40 purses in here. Thank you so much, Lynn. Oh my goodness. Look at the purse cam for a moment. What is that, Janari? That's a card that's like, wow, laminated, beautiful sunset card. Oh. That is really really pretty and look at the purse oh look at the purse is uh, upcycled upcycled denim pocket These oh are yeah cute. gotta love that what's the logo does anyone know mm. very very cute no or, well who knows, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> wonderful all right here we go from j james in tika k's south carolina thank you so much uh, 30 purses. I was just looking for the number on the box here. 30 purses. And the packing slip is right down at this end. So thank you so much. Wow, look at that one on the purse cam. Big. Hibiscus, is that what that is? If anyone knows flowers, please, please tell us what that is. You think? Hibiscus? Yeah, I think so. Wow. Very, very cool. Well, this would be a perfect time for us to take a moment and to talk about our special theme for today. Now, in the graphic that we use to promote these lives, uh, we try to do a different uh, seamstress or um, you know, ministry uh, a partner uh, every time. And this month's uh, photo was a, a young lady named Veronica. And she's been our pro in our program for, I don't know, probably from the very beginning for 10 years or something like that. And, uh, and so Vero is just such a dear, dear, uh, member of our program and so her photo is the one that you might have seen and then the the tick text that went along with the graphic is uh from philemon philemon is that what, how we say this dana does anyone know philemon 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 according to some people and <laughs> well maybe i don't know uh philemon one five says uh, well, I'll, I'll read four and five. I thank my God always when I remember you in my prayers because I hear of your love and of the faith that you have toward the Lord and for all the saints. So we've got love and faith towards the Lord and 
all the saints. And when I think of uh, the team on the ground in, in Zambia that were working hard on their part of the program, and I think we've got two things going, really. First, if we didn't love them, if we didn't really have a heart to, to, to believe for their best with them, uh, we wouldn't have done this for like 12 years, I don't think. And, and so part of it is grounded in a, just a deep care. But the other thing is we do have to have faith in them a little bit and faith for them too, if you get what I mean. I mean, like we're making these, these, these huge efforts of the purses and the containers going to Africa and, and all of the investment. And we're doing that as uh, in, in faith, believing that they're gonna show up and do their part. So I guess it's sort of a, I guess you could say faith in our uh, fellow uh, you know, brothers and sisters in Christ. But, um, but we're also believing the very best for them and that God is going to bless their work and that God's going to use them powerfully in their own community to make a difference in the lives of children. And so love and faith, love and faith is part of everything that we do. And um, I, it's just a good reminder. And I, I hope that you, um, you think a minute or two this week about how um, it does take faith. To, and, and sometimes we hear this when we when we encounter people like it and maybe the quilt shows or something like that. They're like, how do you know this is really going to work? Or, how, you know, they, they kind of have like a lack of faith. Um, and that's why it's important for us to, you know, hear the stories, take the trips to see the work, um, get the videos and, and photos and hear the life transformation and the journey that our teammates are on there. And so I just challenge you to uh, kindle the love that you have for our uh, sisters and brothers in Zambia and the faith that we have in them as well. And hopefully that word will serve you well this week as you think about such things. Cinnamon, any thoughts on love and faith and how it mingles together? Sure. You know, I think it's just um, amazing to see uh, the whole thing come together. And, you know, what he's mentioning, like our faith in them. But I think, you know, this has worked so well because it's their vision and we've come alongside them to cheer them on and like give them the resources and, and help them with the skills and the abilities to make their vision a reality or, or the vision that God has given them. And so, you know, they have faith in us, I think at the same time where it's kind of from both sides. So it's not something that we've ever just pushed on them. Like, Hey, this is a great idea and it'll change your life. Like, you know, it's always been, um, you know, just both sides working together. And so I think that part's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally right. All right. Well, um, thank you so much for uh, uh, joining us and, and believing for the best of the program and for what's happening there on the ground and for your expressions and love and care. Every purse you make is a tangible couple hour long, you know, uh, symbol of your love and care. And uh, I, I heard someone in the Facebook group this week say that usually when she's making a purse, she um, prays for the girl who will be the recipient. But this week, she was prompted to pray for you all, mm -hmm. the, um, the purse makers around the world. And I don't remember who said that, but when I read that, it was such a nice sentiment. I thought, man, mm -hmm. what a group we have of gen generous and kind-hearted people who are willing to love and, and have faith in uh, their their fellow man, fellow people around the world. So let that encourage your heart today. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Purse cam, one minute. Is that Paisley? I don't know. Would you call that Paisley? Paisley. That's beautiful, huh? Yeah, and Easter yeah. colors. Very, very cute. Wow. Love that. Okay. Let's keep going. And then we're going to give a few other updates before we're done here. We have chapter announcements to share. And, and a few other fun updates to mention. So shall we keep going? Got a lot of purses left, a lot of boxes left to acknowledge. All right, we've got from Georgetown, Texas, Jane Davis. Thank you so much for the purses. And from Lynchburg, Virginia, Nancy Sin. Thank you so much. We got your box. Really, really grateful. A box of beets? No, I'm kidding. Uh, here's uh, one from Dorothy Mager in Plainfield, Illinois. Thank you so much, Dorothy. And another one here from, ah, uh, yes, two labels. Uh, from Burlington, Wisconsin, Don Dithart. Sorry, that one got wet. 
<laughs> uh, yes. Thank you so much. And I think we already acknowledged one box from Bradford's Woods, Pennsylvania, uh, Olive Ranch Fair Trade Shop, uh, Vivian Sylvester and the team there. Thank you so much. This is another huge box full, 28 purses. We're so grateful for your hard work. And here's a big one from Western Springs, Illinois. The outside of this box says Ron Kinsick, but inside the cards are signed by Joan. So I'm assuming this is from Joan. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is amazing. And from De Pere, Wisconsin, Judy Munez, uh, 26 purses. Thank you so much. All right, this is a heavy one. Ooh. Uh, here's a big one. And it is from Mitchellville. Mitchellville, I Iowa. Iowa. Oh, yes, yes. Iowa. Jerry Hefflinger. Thank you so much. Can okay, I tell my... a little story about that box? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, Dana. So, yeah. hey. Welcome, Dana, so, to the show. Jerry, I hope you're watching because Jerry flew out uh, from Iowa to visit her cousin in Renton, believe it or not. And so she emailed me and said, oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> can, I, uh, can I bring my purses out? And I said, yeah, that'd be awesome. We'll arrange that. So then uh, finally, you know, she, I knew she was in town. And I said, Jerry, you know, you're going to drop by the per uh, church and we'll meet. And then Jerry says, yeah, we don't, we're not very far away. My uh, cousin lives in Fairwood. Oh, wow. Well, that's where I live, right in yeah. Fairwood. And then we found out they were like 30 seconds away, literally. <laughs> so Jerry and her cousin drove over and came to my house, actually. We got to talk and visit. And she had vacuum sealed her purses and uh, brought them in a whole extra suitcase all the way from Iowa. Wow. wow. First time she was ever going to see the Pacific Ocean. Wow. They were, they were leaving from my house to go to Ocean Shores to visit the ocean. So I just want to say, Jerry, thank you. It was so wonderful to meet you and uh, to see your wonderful work and to meet your cousin, who's my neighbor. So anyway. Very, cool. very cool. Thank you so much, Jerry. And from Rebecca Hendrickson in Spokane, Washington. Uh, thank you so much. We got your purses, 21 of them. Yep. And from Sandra Roberts in Good Hope, Georgia, we got 26 purses with note cards in them. Thank you so much. The, uh, the note cards are always such a huge blessing when they're done, and we're really, really grateful. I know some people have friends that do their note cards, that, and then they make the purses, and that's a fun combo, a fun way to include people uh, in the project. So thank you so much again. And here we've got a box that has been collected and then given to us from locally from Quality Sewing. So we've got people in the Washington State area. Uh, there's, I believe, 12 or 13 Quality Sewing stores, and they will collect purses for So Powerful. And then we have um, Leslie or other people that will go pick them up. So this is a pile here um, collected in the last month or so. And Another this one? one is too. This is the awesome. same. Awesome. Yeah. Yes. So thank you, everyone, Carmen, and everyone at Quality Sewing. Uh, this is a huge blessing to us, as well as the program, the girls, and the women in Zambia. And I get to do the Brazil box. So thank you so much, Sue, and the entire team in Brazil that works hard to make purses. Uh, it is just such an incredible honor to have purses come in from uh, your hard work. And I know that there's a, just a whole university of uh, college students that work usually every year for us. I don't know if this is from the university uh, students, but it's just such an honor to be able to have purses from around the world. And uh, so, Sue, thank you so much for organizing the Brazil contingent for us. And we've got a box from Burlington, Wisconsin, Cindy Schmidt. Thank you so much, Cindy. This, again, is a huge blessing. And from Cedar Hills, Texas, uh, the last name is Oserheim, and so I don't know a first name, but thank you so much, Cedar Hill, Texas, uh, Mrs. Os Oserheim. Okay, thank you so much, Mrs. Oserheim. And from Traverse City, Michigan, the Beelman family, thank you so much for these verses. <laughs> <laughs> Also, what? we like the Curse of Oak Island yeah. and the Lagina Brothers are from Traverse City. They're, they're probably the most famous people from that town now, right? It's like amazing. Anyway. At the bottom, 
<laughs> oh, if you don't know what the Curse of Oak Island is, it's a History Channel show about gold on an island in Nova Scotia, and uh, we could go on and on about it. But anyway, Wendy Miller from Hudson, Florida. We got your box. Thank you so much, Wendy, for sending in purses. And Mary Obert from St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Thank you so much, Mary. Another round. <laughs> All right, let's take a moment and do a little bit of uh, fun business. We have some uh, great announcements. Janari, I'm going to stop the purse cam for one minute and just go full screen here. So we always like to take a moment when we can at the So Powerful Lives to um, thank and acknowledge the new chapter leaders and the chapters that are coming together. And every month, more and more and more are coming together. I don't even know what our full uh, roster of chapters looks like. Last month it was 75. So Jan post. probably knows and she might post it in the comments here, but we have a few chapters that have just started in the last few weeks and we'd like to thank and acknowledge them and, and we're just so excited. We've got the uh, So Powerful Purses of Tenino, Washington. So that's just down the freeway. We know where that's at. So so powerful purse team in Tenino, thank you so much for forming, coming together, and for beginning to work on uh, projects. We're thrilled. If you, because you're so close, ever want to come up to Renton, Washington uh, for one of our boxing parties or for even one of the So Powerful Live events, uh, you could always email Dana at sopowerful.org or Leslie at sopowerful.org. And uh, Leslie's our Pacific Northwest Regional Coordinator. Uh, and uh, it'd be great to have you probably already connected and are already talking to her. But anyway, uh, the second chapter is uh, Tabitha's Top Stitchers in Tallahassee, uh, Alabama. And so thank you so much, Tabitha's Top Stitchers. Now that's a reference to Acts chapter nine, a very cool story. I don't think I'd ever really like dialed into or heard uh, or thought much about before, but it's a great story uh, of Tabitha and so uh, the Top Stitchers group um, in Tallahassee, Alabama. Thank you so much. Uh, it, it's really fun, though. Tallahassee, yeah, it's really great. So thank you so much for forming as a group. Uh, the third group we've got is Mac the Mackland Makers, Powder Springs, Georgia. So Mackland Makers, you're awesome, and we're really, really grateful that you're coming together as a group, and, uh, and so that's exciting as well. Then we've got the Sunbridge Stitchers Sisters, in St. Cloud, Florida, Sunbridge Sisters, wait, <laughs> this is Sunbridge a test. Fishing. Sunbridge Stitcher Sisters in St. Cloud, Florida. Welcome to being a chapter. We're thrilled that you're uh, forming as a group. We hope that you have a blast together doing your, uh, your local activities. And then we've got, finally, Indy Powerful in Indianapolis, Indiana. So Indy Powerful, we're really, really great, uh, grateful that you formed as a group. Um, we've also got four service projects that are happening just in the last few weeks. Uh, in Altadena, California, in Mentor, Ohio, in Lehigh, Utah, and in Keller, Texas. Service projects are more like when um, like a, a quilt guild or an existing group wants to do purses for So Powerful, but they're not new as a group. Uh, they'll do a service project uh, or other such uh, or similar uh, type activities. So both of those ideas, chapter uh, formation ideas, as well as service project formation work and, and ideas, all the info is available on our website uh, under the uh, Get Involved, I think it is, tab. So you can just look in the menu structure and you'll see uh, info for that, th both of those activities. How cool is that? Five new chapters. So cool, yes. So maybe we're at 80. I didn't see that that popped oh, in. I don't know. But yes, the chapter thing is exploding. You guys, it's crazy yeah. and it's fun. Uh, it's inspirational, I think, to us to see so many people just jump into that opportunity to get together and sew or get together and make cards or you yeah. know anything that you want to do, but all for uh, the purse making cause. So that's really fun. Yeah. Uh, Jan uh, put in the comments, look in the menu structure on So Powerful under the serve with us. Uh, tab and you'll see information about service <laughs> projects and forming your own chapter or if you're in an area and you're wondering if there's already a chapter form there's a chapter locator tool and so you just click on it 
you let it give your like zip code area and then it'll tell you uh, where the nearest chapters are and all that and you can figure out whether there might be one near you that you could join if you want to meet up with new people and make some new friends and rally around the idea of helping girls stay in school uh, all month even on their period and uh, that would be really really uh, exciting I think as an opportunity so we've got a few boxes left maybe seven or eight and so we're gonna wrap those up and then we will uh, We'll go from there. You ready? Yep. Okay, I'm going to bring the purse cam back in here. So we've got purse cam. And there we are. Oh, what a beautiful note. Wow. Very pretty. What a wonderful example, huh? Wow. Really, really great. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm looking at my cheat sheet. All right, we got um, Cindy Coleman in Silver Springs, Maryland. Thank you so much. And Catherine Davis in Athens, Ohio. These purses are a blessing every time, every single purse. So thank you. And from Michelle Knapp in Bloomfield, Michigan, thank you so much. We got your purses. And from Lakewood, Colorado, Melina Picro, thank you so much. And from Sherman Oaks, California, um, I can't read the name on the package, but uh, um, someone amazing, Schoolnick? wonderful, maybe, maybe Mrs. Schoolnick or something Sherman like that. Similar in Sherman Oaks. Thank you so much for your purses. <clears throat> and this one's close by too from Vancouver, Washington, Rebecca Halley. Thank you so much. And we've got, uh, Laura Sutterer sent in from Auburn, Alabama, fifth more purses. Thank you so much, Laura. Really, really grateful. Can I do the last box? Let's yep. do the last Let's box. do it together. I'll hold it. We've got Diane Jones in Northport, Florida. Thank you so much. Amazing blessing. Thank you, Diane. Really, really grateful. All right, friends. Well, we've got a few more purses on the purse cam, and we know that's what you love to see while we do these lives. So I'm just going to zoom in on the purse cam here if I can uh, and uh, see if I can do that. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Aww. How pretty is that? Very huh? fun. Yes, I love the yeah. piecework and all of the interesting fabric combinations or upcycled yeah. pieces. Fabric yeah. stash busters. Buttons. Buttons are great. Yeah, look at that. There's a girl for every purse. And so whatever you have that you can use, new or old fabric, vintage or, you know, uh, contemporary, uh, upcycled denim, it doesn't matter. Whatever you can put together, there will be a girl that absolutely loves it. And that's sort of the, the beauty of this yeah, program, isn't so it? Yeah, it's so fun every time to, to watch the girls, you know, actually yeah. just walk up and choose and pick what, what's their, which ones they're drawn to. And yeah favorite colors or patterns or styles and oh look at this this one's an interesting combo of denim and polka dot, polka dot fabric isn't it wow very very cool oh my wow look Last at that purse with beautiful embroidery wow what a beautiful example wow love that something really special about this friends Something really, really special about the love and care that's going into these purses, the energy and enthusiasm that you all bring to it. We are just continually amazed at the craftsmanship. Can you call it craftsmanship? Craftswomanship? Craftsmanship. craftsmanship, the crafty, uh, beautiful, hard work that goes into these. And it's just an incredible expression of love and care. And just take a moment and thank each of you for your hard work. Dana is just blown away at the volumes of purses that are coming in. This amount of purses that came in in the last three weeks is like, you know, yeah, it is just above and beyond. And so it'll be fun to end this month and then kind of do a tally mm -hmm. to see where we're at uh, against last year. But you're helping us by spreading the word with your friends sharing about this program in, um, in, in groups, uh, both local to you and but also on, you know, on the internet, Facebook groups, that kind of thing. 
is just an incredible help. And so for those of you who are new to the program and you're like, what is this even about? <laughs> we might want to take a moment and actually just explain it. But we want to thank everybody for your hard work. Do you want to give like the two minute version of what this whole program is even about? Just the top level. Sure. Like from what starting point? Yeah. Any. <laughs> yes. So if you're new, uh, the basic overview of the program is it starts with the purse or I'd say it starts in Nome Bay and just outside of Lusaka, Zambia. There's a community there uh, and the girls in that community are in the situation where they don't have access to reusable feminine or to any feminine hygiene products and the practices that they stay home from school when they start having their period they start missing school so we have a program here where we've got the purse pattern it's available to download for free and then we just ask you to use your fabric stash and sew up a purse and as you can see from the purse cam uh, you know you can just be as creative as you want use the fabrics that you have and upcycle and create beautiful keepsake gifts for the girls. And so those get shipped to us. Uh, the purse, along with the note card, we ask you to write a note that goes to the girl and that comes to us empty. And then when they're shipped over to Zambia, in the country there, there's a sewing cooperative. The women are there, they have got a great job. They've been trained to sew and they're sewing the reusable feminine hygiene products. Those products go into the purse along with soap, which is also made there locally and underwear and that goes in the purse and then it's given to the girls in the local community schools. The girls are challenged to stay in school all month long, which they do. And um, you know, they have this beautiful gift. It's probably the most special gift that they've ever received. Uh, they cherish it. And I think if you, you know, see some of the videos we have of some of the distributions and you just see them light up when they pick their purse, when they pull that card out and look at that note and it makes a personal connection for them. Yeah. Yeah. I think the gift that we also provide that I'm really passionate about is the gift of a great job. Mm -hmm. The employment component for the seamstresses, for those of you who have been with us from the very beginning of this journey and 2009, 2010, you know that the, the original machines that we had and the original location that we had was um, humble, mm -hmm. and I had to, to say it nicely, uh, and the machines that they have now to use and the facility that they have is literally the most beautiful building in a very, very desperate place called Nombe Compound. It's a building that any one of us would be proud to walk into every day and work from. And it's it's nice, well lit, new layout and construction, beautiful machines. Uh, the Juki commercial machines are fantastic. They've got uh, uh, overlock machines as well now. And uh, it's an environment in which they can be safe physically. They can be in a community of uh, friends and trusted uh, uh, co-workers. Uh, and the opportunity for their employment is clear and is fair. And those elements of the program, we don't really talk about that much, but I think it's really important for everybody who makes purses to understand that this is not a dump and run charity handout. This is not something where these are just like, you know, put out there any old place. This goes to a very, very um, specific uh, program location where the the ladies on the team there have a wonderful uh, outcome from their side of the uh, equation. It's uh, it's not just fair. It's it's a great great impact for them and a great outcome. And I think that's the part that I really mm -hmm. sort of cherish and am passionate about. Is you know can we make an environment in which it doesn't feel like charity work to them? From their point of view, they have a great job. Mm -hmm. They don't have a charity that they're getting something from every day. They have a job they go to and they're learning uh, vocational training skills related to sewing uh, and they get a fair wage for it and a great work environment and uh, and on and on. Mm -hmm. So really want to um, thank you again for your support of this important program. Uh, the uh, financial gifts. Oh, the purse cam is ringing. <laughs> uh -oh. The purse cam's done. So just, bye bye purse just cam. Hit decline. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi, Tara. Cinnamon's sister just called her on the first camp. I think it's time to wrap up.
Well, we just want to thank you all again for your uh, love and support for the, uh, the program and for what you're um, contributing financially. Uh, the costs associated with making this program work have gone up a lot, if I'm being completely uh, candid, this last year and a half. Uh, shipping related fabric, you know, for, for travel in country, for on and on, there are costs associated that are um, escalating. But you've been so faithful in supporting us financially and for uh, making purses. Um, and we used to say that it costs about $5 to fill a purse when we first started and when we first started doing the purse program in 2014, 2015, it was $4.92 uh, to fill a purse. It's definitely uh, skyrocketed, um, but your giving has been so gracious to us and we really want to thank everybody who's given financially in support of the program. You're making it possible to employ that team on the ground in Zambia, to buy the fabric for the pads, to supply the soap team with what they need, uh, underwear that goes into the purse and, and on and on. So thank you again. If you want to give a gift financially, you certainly could do that uh, on the website. It's right on uh, the top menu under the donate tab. And we're really, really grateful for, for everyone who's done that. Some people uh, give a $5 gift. Some people give much, much more than that. And so whatever level of giving that you give at is a huge blessing and every dollar counts. Our overhead rate this last year, we've done the informal math and we're finishing up our, our formal reporting for 2021. But our overhead rate was 3.9%. Uh, Most of that went to banks and to legal fees, <laughs> and that pretty much the, the, the vast majority of it. Um, and we just can't get out of some expenses like that. But to the very best of our ability, um, we keep our expenses as low as uh, possible in every way. And so uh, we're all volunteer, and that's a big part of what goes into that low overhead rate. Um, so we want to thank you again for the purse making and for the, um, for the uh, financial giving in support of the program. All of you working so hard as chapter leaders uh, and givers and seamstresses. It's making it all possible. Any final thoughts? Uh, <laughs> I guess not to add on, but yeah, I mean, it's just amazing. And I think, you know, as much as um, seeing everything there on the ground come together every time, you know, it's just a huge blessing uh, to see what you all are doing and to know that, you know, you guys have all just taken this on as your own cause and you're so passionate about it and the opportunity that you have to be in ministry or use your skills and your yeah. talent, your time, your resources uh, for this program uh, is just super touching. I think it's just honestly, it's so amazing to see how God's just woven this whole thing together. Yeah, totally right. Uh, someone more recently commented, uh, I don't remember what it was in the Facebook group or in a response to one of our emails that she always felt called to Africa, uh, but didn't have the chance to go. But this is a fulfillment of that calling in her life. And, and she is in ministry. This is her ministry and this is your ministry if God's put it on your heart. So we just want to thank you again so much for your love and care for those uh, of the least of these in a very challenging place. And so thank you again. We're going to wrap it up here. Thank you, Janari on the purse cam and Jillian and Dana helping us with the boxes. We're really, really grateful. Great job, everybody. Glad the internet held up this time for us and uh, we'll end it there. So bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, guys.